The United States Department of Energy has been caught engaging in widespread cheating to manipulate electric vehicle efficiency data. The mainstream media chose to ignore this issue. However, I refuse to overlook these deceptive practices. It is evident that for years, false data has been given regarding the range capabilities of electric vehicles. The government has a concept known as compliance value, which is a high rating of 430 miles per gallon to a 2022 Tesla Model Y. In reality, actual tests conducted by reliable sources indicate that it achieves a modest 65 miles per gallon, similar to many high-performing hybrid vehicles. The term miles per gallon is misleading in the case of electric vehicles, as they do not consume any gasoline. The notion of compliance value is a fabrication designed to inflate the perceived efficiency of electric vehicles. Unfortunately, many are deceived by this. This issue is intertwined with the practice of granting compliance credits to companies like Tesla, which can be traded for monetary gain. This highlights the absurdity of the carbon credit system, where companies claim financial rewards for simply not engaging in environmentally harmful activities, such as deforestation. It is disheartening to witness the manipulation of data and the exploitation of such loopholes for financial benefit. It is indeed absurd that most individuals are unaware of such information. As you rightly mentioned, the media fails to address these matters. Instead, they focus on running advertisements for these companies, attempting to sell their products. They deceive the public. I, on the other hand, am committed to revealing the truth because I despise being deceived and witnessing others being taken advantage of. Just look at the situation in California. People installed solar panels with the understanding that they would be compensated for the excess electricity they generated. Initially, they were paid a fair amount, but now they have been presented with a completely different figure. This new calculation, the blah 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 formula, has drastically reduced the amount of money they receive for the unused electricity. The people of California are furious about this situation. Numerous solar panel installers in the state have gone bankrupt due to the lack of demand caused by this deception. It is truly a joke, as we are being ripped off once again. Any situation involving fabricated figures like this is simply a means of exploiting the general public. You must be curious about what happened to those stranded motorists in Chicago and why those Teslas were unable to charge. Well, let me provide you with the real reason, as shared by folks who were present. The Tesla Owners Club in suburban Chicago conducted an investigation and discovered that out of the 13 Tesla superchargers they examined, three were completely out of order. There are several factors that contribute to this issue, including extreme cold weather, which can cause the charging cables, connectors, and other components to malfunction. Ice accumulation can also impede the charging process by causing materials to stiffen and increasing resistance. Electric cars operate differently than traditional vehicles. When electric cars experience malfunctions, they have safety mechanisms that shut down the machines. Unlike simply plugging a car into a wall socket, electric cars require a connection to a computer, such as the Tesla supercharger. The computer in the car analyzes various factors to determine the charging speed or if charging is possible at all. In Rhode Island, where there are numerous electric cars, charging issues were more common compared to Tennessee, where there are fewer electric cars. Problems ranged from charger malfunctions to damaged cables, all of which can cause the system to shut down. I have come across several inoperative charging stations. Contacting the provided 1-800 to number is not helpful when you are out of electricity and need to charge your car. Electric cars contain liquid electrolyte, which can freeze. Even when not in use, a Tesla car consumes 1% of battery power every day. However, many people use the sentry mode, which is an anti-theft feature that utilizes cameras to monitor the car. Under sentry mode, the car can drain up to 15% of the battery pack capacity within 24 hours. This means that if you park your Tesla at an airport for a week or two, you may return to find it completely drained. I recall an incident involving James made from the original Top Gear. He had a Tesla in California that he didn't use frequently, and when he returned to it, the car was completely dead. He had to dismantle parts of the car to access the smaller battery and charge it. 
Therefore, the car would initiate its ignition upon arrival, correct? I must say, these matters are not well thought out at all. Furthermore, their charging systems in cold conditions are even more inadequate. These charging machines are not located in heated garages. Instead, they are exposed to the weather. Can you imagine what would happen when the temperature drops to 15 degrees or even 15 degrees below zero? These machines would cease to function properly because electronic devices do not perform well in cold weather. When numerous cars are simultaneously charging, the demand for electricity increases exponentially. Consequently, these individuals were left stranded. Now, if millions of people own these cars, the chaos that would ensue during cold weather when people need to charge their vehicles is unimaginable. Thankfully, regular individuals are now driving the Tesla Cybertrucks. Previously, it was only the company's employees, and you know how unreliable that can be. Nowadays, people are uploading YouTube videos showcasing the quality of these trucks. One individual embarked on a cross-country trip from Austin, Texas to the Joshua Tree in California and back, covering a distance of 1,340 miles. Throughout the journey, he had to stop 12 times to charge the vehicle. This is not an impressive range by any means. His trip, which would typically take less than 20 hours, ended up lasting 27 hours or more due to the frequent charging stops. It's not like a quick pit stop to stretch your legs and refuel with gas. Charging these vehicles takes a significant amount of time. This individual, who drove the Tesla Cybertruck, stated that he was supposed to have a range of 320 miles, but it felt like his range was cut in half. This just goes to show that they consistently exaggerate the distance these vehicles can travel. You would constantly find yourself needing to charge them. And mind you, this wasn't even in particularly cold weather. He was traveling from Austin to California, but imagine doing the same journey in Alaska or Canada, where the temperatures are extremely cold. In those conditions, he would have had to make even more frequent stops to charge the electric car. This is why I find it hard to believe all the claims about the range of electric cars until you actually drive them in real-world conditions. By then, it's too late because you already own the car. It's important to listen to what other people have to say about their experiences. At least this person was honest about how many times they had to stop to charge the car. The problem is that people who don't know much about electric cars don't understand that the charging times advertised are usually for a 20% to 80% charge. So, right off the bat, you've lost 40% of the vehicle's range because you don't want to go below 20%. And when you charge it up to 80%, you don't want to go any further because it takes too long. That's another 20% gone. So, you're only left with 60% to begin with. And in the real world, you lose even more range. So, you end up with less than 50% of what you initially thought you would get. The way the charging stations work is that they can quickly charge from 20% to 80%, but going from 80% to 100% takes over an hour. Most people won't want to wait that long, so they have to keep stopping and charging whenever the battery goes below 20%. It's just inconvenient. It's like having a gasoline car with a 20-gallon tank, but you can only use 12 gallons of fuel. The rest is just sitting there, unusable. And sometimes, people will boast about driving their Tesla for 320 miles until it stopped. But when it stops, you're stuck wherever you are. Who wants to be stranded in the middle of nowhere with no electricity? If you wish to charge it to 100%, you will have to stop frequently, resulting in a 45-minute to an hour wait each time. In this scenario, if he had stopped 12 times, it would have added 12 hours to his trip. These vehicles are simply not designed for regular individuals to cover long distances. Thank you kindly for your time. Have a nice day.